Hello, my name is Bud Alberry. I'm the business manager and financial secretary for Local 46 in Seattle, Washington. We are down at the JATC today and we're interviewing a few of our brothers and sisters that are out working in the field and finding out how they got introduced into the IBW and kind of how their life started with the IBW. Morning, Sandra. Good morning. How about just kind of talking to me about a little bit about how you became to get into the IBW and what brought you to the IBW? It was very, uh, it was definitely not straightforward. It was very complicated and roundabout. I, uh, I'd already decided that I didn't enjoy working in an office building. I preferred more outside work, physical work. Um, and I uh, was working in Lumberville at the time. The electrician there was just like, you need to get in the union, get in the union. And I was, uh, it was right at the right time. You know, I come from Texas. I didn't know about unions. When you moved up here from Texas and you transferred your license up to Seattle, how did you like the work up here and how do you like the work out in the field that you do as far as the strength work and stuff? I like the work and there's nothing wrong. I heard there was this apprentice. He was saying he was small. There's work he can't do. And that's just not true. I told him I said there's 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 a way to do it. It doesn't matter what size you are. There's a way to do the work and uh, coming up and starting at the refinery in Texas. I like the industrial work. It's hard to get in this local, but that's the work I like. It's the work that people don't want to give me because they're like, oh, maybe I look small or something. They don't think I can work rigid, but I like rigid. I like that work. And uh, I'm lucky to be in a spot now where I get more of that work and I can I can do it. I work more with motors and I and uh, do more industrial control processes. And I enjoy that work. Um, so, you know, some aspects of the trade, sometimes you get stuck doing stuff you don't like as much. But, you know, if you still work and especially as a journeyman, you have a chance to sort of pick more where you choose where you want to go. And so finding the work that you like and the niche is a little bit easier uh, as a journeyman than it is as an apprentice. Um, so I'm very happy. When you joined the union, how did you think about the money and the pension and the health and welfare? Did that make a difference in your life? Yeah, the money for sure, because, you know, I was a young mom and I was looking at a way to support my daughter, but I didn't want to have to work two jobs and never see her. I wanted to be able to be a mom. So this provided me with a living wage on 40 hours a week. Then I could provide for my daughter. Since you've been in the IBW, have you met quite a few friends in the IBW that you see after hours now? Yeah, I have a few, you know, a few really close ones that I, I, that I enjoy hanging out with. Yes. Do sure. you enjoy going to union meetings or being involved with the picnics or anything? Or do you do quite a bit after hours for the union? Uh, I'm not as involved with the union as I should be, but I do like showing up to meetings and being involved in voting. And then, uh, and I enjoy the social aspect of the meetings a lot. Seeing for, everybody. for being a sister out in the field, how does that feel being a lady out working with a lot of men? It's hard. You gotta have some strategies, I think, for working with men. My friends are the people that I enjoy working with, you know, and I've, I've worked with a lot of really good people and uh, seen a few misogynists, but they're really rare actually. Well, Sandra, I want to thank you very much for talking with me and giving me the information and learning about how you feel about the trade. And I'm hoping that down at the union hall now at the meetings and stuff, we'll get to talk a little more and get to know each other better. Thank you very much. Thanks.